Hello, hello, and welcome to day 28 of 30 days of Q&A, where today I'm going to be talking about when you should hire a team. So if you're building a business, we're gonna be talking about at which stage you should think about hiring people to support you and help you in growing your business. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Janine S. Brand, and I'm the founder of Lightbox Coaching, where I help women to return to work with confidence and build careers that they love whilst raising a family. Okay, so before we dive in, let me know where you're joining from, type in the comments below. Um, and if you are at the stage where you're thinking about hiring a team, then type one in the comments. Um, so this question came up, because so I went to a conference last week and I was speaking to um, a fellow coach at the conference and we were talking about business and how things are going and she was saying that there are some areas in her business that she doesn't really enjoy doing and she doesn't get to do those things they're important tasks but she doesn't get around to doing them and she also doesn't like doing them and so she was saying that she's thinking about hiring somebody to come in and do those tasks and so she was saying when do you think it's a good time to, to hire someone so I'm gonna answer that question now so when you're getting started with your business it's likely that it's all on you so if you're a mum who's starting business on maternity leave or you've decided not to go back to work and you're starting your business it you're probably a one a one woman show so you're trying to do everything um, and the thing is you either well you, there's there's two it's going to cost you either way in terms of building your business so you either are going to be spending a lot of time or you're going to be spending money so if you have a lot of time available which might be unlikely if you're if you're a mum and you're juggling loads of things then you can dedicate time to be doing everything yourself so you're looking at doing your marketing you're looking at uh, developing your product or your service you're looking at uh, doing you know social media your finances wearing all the hats when it comes to running a business um, but if you are are in the position where you do have some income coming in in your business and you have some um, money that you're able to spend then you could spend that money and allow somebody else to help you with some of those tasks so take some of those things off of your plate um, and it's a good idea for you to be able to send the things that you don't enjoy doing or that you're not particularly good at to somebody else who is good at those things so it's good to hire hire somebody at least one person that can be supporting you and helping you because ultimately um it's going to be more efficient so while you are doing other things whether that is in the business or not they can be working as well and get getting things done and they they may do some things better than you if you're wearing all the hats it's unlikely that you're going to be good at everything so you can hire somebody who is excelling in an area that's your weakness so that's why it's good to know what your strengths are so you know that you can focus on your area of strength and then you can get someone in the team that can fill in the gap where where you have weaknesses so you might be thinking, okay, but where do I find somebody to hire and I'm not in the position where I want to hire a full-time employee? Well, you don't need to. So there's a lot of people that offer their services as contractors and you can you can hire a virtual assistant. So that is essentially um, an assistant who specializes in different areas of admin who can come in and can help you in your business. So it doesn't have to be somebody working for you full time they might just do a few hours a week for you but in those few hours they can get a lot of ta tasks done uh, to help you move forward in your business so you can look for a, a local VA somebody who's in your area somebody who is in another country because if you're working virtually you can you can work it out so that it doesn't you don't necessarily have to be in the same vicinity and so you can explore that you can look at ways that you can start getting somebody to help you start slowly get someone to help you a few hours and then you can you can up that as time goes on um, but it's definitely a good idea to hire a team member probably sooner than you feel ready to because ultimately when it's all on your shoulders it's a lot to do especially when you're juggling everything else so go ahead and do that hire somebody get somebody on board um, a contractor who can can help you I won't go into the ins and outs of employee versus contractor here but it's a good idea to get a contractor to come in and help you all right, so that's all from me. We've only got two days left on the 30 days of Q&A series. I'll be back again tomorrow. In the meantime, I would love for you to sign up for the Balanced Working Mum Challenge, which is happening on Monday. It's a free five-day challenge, and it's going to help you to achieve more balance between your work and family life. I'm gonna share with you some really impactful strategies that are simple but impactful that you're gonna be able to implement so that you can achieve more balance in your life as a working mum. So come over and join us. I will put a link to where you can sign up to join in the challenge and I hope to see you tomorrow. All right, bye.